Hello, I'm back again to show you how to use Google Presentation to create your digital storyboard. First thing you need to do, sign into your student email account. Click on the Google Apps account. Put in your student email and password. Once you're in your Google Apps account, go to your Google Drive. Once you're in Google Drive, find the storyboard template, but do not use it. Make sure you copy and rename the file and share that file with Ms. Steidel and myself. There are two ways to copy over your template file. The first is to click on the checkbox next to the file, come up to more, and then down to make a copy. The second way is to simply right click or con control click on a Mac and go to make a copy. Now once I make a copy you'll see it won't automatically show up in this folder because I'm in the shared with me folder. I have to come up to my drive and then I'll see the copy. To rename the file, I can do the same thing. I can either click the checkbox and go to more or right click and go to rename. Here I'm going to rename my storyboard to identify the group in the story that I'm doing. Now the last thing I want to do is share it. So this time I'm going to control click or right click and I would like to share this storyboard. I'm going to click on share. Here I'm going to put in the email addresses of those I'd like to share it with. I will share it with Ms. Steidel and Ms. Ludola. And I'm going to click save and share. Now that I've copied, renamed, and shared my storyboard, I'm ready to get started. To get started, I'm going to click on the file. You'll see that there are 10 slides, but you only need 9. To add one of your images to a slide, Go up to the top menu and click on Insert, and then down to Image. From the Insert Image screen, you can upload your own image, take a snapshot, but in our case, we want to go to Google Drive and select the folder that we created for all our images. In that folder, you can select an image and place it in your frame. The images do come in large, so you have to scale it down to fit. Once you've inserted an image, you can add arrows to show camera movement. To add an arrow, go to the line tool and select arrow. Once you've drawn an arrow, you can increase the thickness and change the color of the line. In this case, the arrow is showing camera movement zooming in on the small window in the back of the kitchen. So I have one arrow and I'm going to copy it over. To show movement, to that back window. A very useful tool is located underneath the line tool and it's called the scribble tool. This is a freehand drawing tool that will allow you to draw over top of your image. In this case I'm going to draw smoke to the top of my kitchen to add to the effect of the scene. I'm going to start over with a fresh clean presentation to talk about planning your shots for your trailer. Here you'll see the three different main topic areas, camera, effects, and setting. This is where you want to spend the majority of your time when you're storyboarding, thinking about the shots and how the decisions you make on your storyboard are going to evoke feelings of suspense with your audience. You'll see there's a clear correlation between a well thought out and detailed storyboard and a trailer that builds suspense within its audience. 